Hello everyone. In this video, we will be looking at Java program to check whether a number entered by the user is atom number or not. Now, what is atom number? In examination, always definition will be provided. It says a number is said to be atom number when the square of a number and square of reverse of a given number are reverse of each other. What does it mean? Seems confusing, right? Let us see the example. For example, if the input is 12, you just have to print Adam number. Now how? We will first find square of the input. Square of 12 is what? 144. Next, we have to find reverse of 12. Once the reverse, what is the reverse of 12? 21. Now when I find square of 21, what did I get? I got 441, which is reverse of square of original number in short what we have to do that is what we have to do we have to find square of n square of n n is a number which user enters then the reverse of n then square of reverse and whether both of them are reverse of each other or not, that we have to check. Now, let us look at the logic. What is the logic behind it? We will first find square of a number, find reverse of a number in step 2. In step 3, we will find square of a number in step 2. Square of a number in step 2. That is, I am finding square of reverse. Then we have to find reverse of a number in step 3. Find whether op number obtained in step 4 and 1 are reverse or reverse of each other or not. Okay, are reverse of each other. Now, let us begin, okay? We know the basic prototype of any Java program. It is import, then class name, then public static void main. In public static void main, I made the object of scanner class. Now, what am I doing? See carefully what we will do. Int n, a number which user will enter, okay? One n, okay? Next, I will write here int x1. For what I have declared this x1 or you can directly simply say sq. What is sq? It is in sq will hold what? Will hold square of what? N. Right. Next, there will be one variable in rev which will hold what? REV1 to hold reverse of N, the number. Okay, reverse of original number. Next. Next is what? In whenever variables are required, we will do. We know the basic prototype. This is the basic prototype of Java program. We will write import class public static void main and scanner object. Now I'll write int n. What will I do? I'll ask user system dot out dot print ln. Enter the number. User will enter the number. User will enter the number. How n is equal to s dot next int. Once the number is taken, what will I do? I will write in sq is equal to n into n. Okay. This will hold square of the number. Next, my job is what? To find reverse of original 
number n to find reverse of original number n okay so we will find reverse of original number we know the logic to find reverse of number for more detail you can watch my video on how to find reverse of a number in java we know the basic type how can we find the reverse x is equal to n mod 10 then reverse is equal to reverse into 10 plus x and n is equal to n by 10 whatever variable we have used here i'll declare here first i'll write int rev is equal to 0 and i used x variable fine for n greater than 0 then x is equal to n mod 10 reverse when i'll come out of this i will get what reverse of original number in rev okay so after this what will hold rev will hold reverse of n okay now i will write int sq1 is equal to rev into rev square of the reversed number now my job is what i got the square i got the sq1 what is sq it is holding for example if my n is 12 we are assuming that user entered 12 what sq will hold 144 okay what is rev is holding after coming out of this what will be rev rev will hold 21 what rev will hold 21 the reverse of n that is we can write that is rev will have 21 okay now int sq1 is equal to rev into rev now what it is holding 441 so my job now is what i have to check whether this sq and sq1 are reverse of each other or not how can we check that guys now we will find reverse of sq1 or you can find reverse of sq fine so so for better understanding what am i doing i am storing one variable n1 is equal to sq i am preserving the value of sq here so that we can compare it later now for loop for not n sorry n we have already used so i will write n1 is equal to sq now what am i doing i will find reverse of n1 okay n1 greater than 0 x is equal to n mod n mod 10 rev is equal to rev into 10 plus x and n1 is equal to n1 by 10 because of this for loop what i did what i did find reverse of sq first the square sq or we can say square find reverse of sq okay what was sq what was sq square of original number okay and i am finding reverse of original number i mean reverse of square of original number okay sq we are finding reverse of this after coming out of this for loop my job is done now i simply have to check if rev is equal to equal to sq1 because sq1 is holding what square of reverse of a number okay here what rev is holding as per our input 
we have taken n as a 12 sq is square of 12 that is square of n okay after coming out of this for loop what r e v will hold r e v he will hold reverse of n that is 21 now here in sq1 we have stored it now again i am finding the reverse but i am finding the reverse of sq sq means it is holding right now what 144 so once i'll come out of this r e v will hold reverse of sq that is 441 after this i'll check if rev is equal to equal to sq1 i'll simply say the number is adam number else the number is not adam number now let us run the program if you people are getting confused then what we can do we have one more solution we can declare another variable so that confusion will be over okay i'll declare again here what int rev1 comma which is zero in the beginning comma x1 okay for finding reverse of sq to avoid the confusion we will write rev1 and x1 okay then if n1 is greater than 0 i applied the same logic of finding the reverse but with rev1 variable rev1 and n1 and x1 variable names okay now what will happen when i'll come out of this for loop rev1 will hold reverse of the value in sq sq was holding what sq was holding sq was holding what 140 4. So, reverse of 144 is 441. So, I will check again REV1. If it is equal to equal to this, the number is Adam number. Now, let us run the program. We will compile. Program is compiled successfully. Now, I will run. Suppose if I enter the number 12, it will say the number is Adam number. If I enter, uh, let's say 14, the number is not Adam number and so on. Important point to note down is we have to be very careful. What are we doing? What are we doing guys? Let's quickly recap. Take the number. Find square and reverse of n take the number n take the number n find square where did i store it in sq and find the reverse of n where did i store this reverse of n in our ev square of what square of n and reverse of n okay then then what guys find square of rev where did i stored it in sq1 we took the number find the square of n reverse of n in rev variable i stored then i found the square of rev where did i stored it in sq1 then what we did reverse of n find square of rev after that what we did find reverse of sq 
in which variable I found it in REV1. And simply I compared what guys? REV1 and SQ1. If they are same, is an atom number, right? Let us quickly have a look. Square of number, reverse of original number. Then square of reversed number, okay. Then reverse of square the number here. After that, compare it. Go gradually, you will be able to do the same. If you don't get the logic, just rewind the video and check it out. Thank you.